We have talked about the secondary genetic information that you could receive through exome sequencing. Now we will go over the pros and cons of receiving this additional genetic information and how you might go about deciding whether you want to receive results about the 57 secondary genes. There are many advantages to finding out whether you have a mutation in any of these 57 secondary genes. You could learn about your own risk to develop a genetic disease or a risk for your children or other family members. You might be able to prevent the conditions from developing or detect it early by getting regular screening to diagnose the condition early when it can be treated. For example, you may need annual screening for breast cancer with mammograms, or even more rigorous screening using breast MRI, which most women don't get. Or you may need to have annual screening tests for your heart, for example with an electrocardiogram or EKG. You may share your results with your children and other family members to help them learn about their risk of developing certain diseases. This could be an important gift you are giving your family members if the condition is preventable or treatable. Though there are many advantages to finding out about these genes, there are some disadvantages that you should consider. You may learn about your risk to develop a genetic disease which will cause you to worry, get anxious, or become depressed. You may learn that your child is at risk to have a genetic disease and feel guilty about seeing this predisposition to your child, even though this was out of your control. You may learn that your family members are at risk for a genetic disease and feel uncomfortable sharing this information with them, or they may not want to know this information. This can sometimes cause tension in the family. While we will give you the most accurate current information that we have, we are still learning about genetic conditions. At this time, we may not be able to give you precise information about what your genetic information means or how high your risk is to develop the disease. We might even make mistakes and either miss something that increases your risk for the disease or misinterpret the information to think that you are at high risk when you are not. We do the best we can, but we are still learning about what all this genetic information means. For some people, this uncertainty can be confusing or worrying, and they prefer only knowing about things that we know with absolute certainty. Finally, it is important to remember that not all diseases have a genetic cause. Therefore, we are not trying to identify every single disease that you may develop, and this should not be considered a thorough genetic checkup. As with any big decision, you should evaluate the pros and cons. We will help you with this decision, and you should feel free to discuss this with your doctors, genetics counselors, and family members. As a reminder, we would like you to remember that we can only look for all 57 genes or none of them at all.